Today I'm going to show you a different version of finding out if God is real or not. Many people always like to ask me those questions, is he real or not? Well, let, let me show you today a different viewpoint that you never looked at before, and it involves the United States. So right now we're going to read from Hosea, and Hosea writes, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected my knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. What he is saying right here, God is saying, is that since you've given up believing in him, he has removed common sense. Do you understand that there is a punishment for abandoning God? Let me show you why there is a punishment for abandoning God. Your countries have been ruled and raised up in Christianity. Marriage is a gift from God. Marriage itself. But so is family life. So is having children. And if you look right now at America, since you have removed God, what are the things that are cur currently dying? Marriage, family life, and children, right? These are the things that are currently dying. So when you removed God in the 50s, these are the things that started kicking in, taking its place from happy life, happy marriage, happy home, happy family, happy children, right? Since you've decided to go against God, you have lost your children, lost your family lives, lost your marriages, and they're all turning to over to the sodomites. But we also see very clearly that people have lost their common sense. But did you know that common sense should not be called common sense? It should be called Christian sense. You see, God tells you very clearly that he blesses you with tons of blessings. But if everybody has common sense because they're all Christian, then you don't see the blessing anymore because everybody has the blessing. But when you come into an area where there's low Christianity, you will see that the common sense is no longer common. Wherever Christianity is strong and blossoming, there's a lot of common sense. Wherever there's no many Christians around, there's very little common sense. Common sense follows Christ, follows God. That's America used to call it common sense because America was uh, developed on Judaic Christian values and morals and even the legal system. But you've all changed that. Now what you have is family dying, marriage is dying, and children dying. You ha you're on the brink of war. And you have FEMA and United Nations ready to come in and swoop over and take everything away from you that you know. You are currently under judgment. You have removed God for the last 60 years. He has warned you several times to turn back to him. You have not. So right now, you seriously have all the hounds surrounding the gate. They're all waiting for the command. And the command is going to be American Civil War. You see, the government is destabilizing the country right now. And they want to bring in the problem, a reaction solution. So they create the problem and they hope that you'll, be the, you'll, you'll uh, try to uh, join in the problem and they'll bring out the solution. You'll be the action, they'll be the solution. <laughs> and their solution is the United Nations are going to come in with their own military and wipe you all out. Throw you all up in FEMA camps. Why? Because you don't repent. You don't turn to God. Once you understand that everything that is happening to you right now is biblical, from the water droughtage in California to the forest fires in, in Washington to the tornadoes in Kansas and everything else that's been going wrong, from the sinkholes in Florida, you name it, the earthquakes, you name it, all of that stuff is because you have turned your backs on the Lord. Turn back to God and you will notice the increase of goodness and blessings inside your country. Stay away from God and he will remove all the blessings from your life and that is exactly what you are seeing today.